Okay guys, so today we're going to run through some lower body mobility so that, as I always say, uh, whenever we're coaching, if you can't move, you can't train. So we're just going to run through some really good mobility exercises. Uh, there's progressions and degressions so that if you're just started today, you can build up to the progression exercises. So first thing in, you're just going to take a step forward, make sure your knee is in line with your hip and knee is in line with your ankle. Okay, you're just going to drive that forward to get a stretch through the ankle so you get ankle flexion. So you want to drive that knee over the toe. Hold for about 5 to 10 seconds. And strip the leg out. And take a chest and knee so you get a stretch through the hamstring. So you do that three times each set. So you're pushing over the toe. Get that stretch through the ankle. You'll feel a pull on here too in the quad, that's okay. But you want to focus on keeping that hinge in the floor and pushing the knee over the toe. And again. Straighten the leg out, take the chest and the knee. And one more. And again. And change legs. So again, start with the knee and then with the ankle and this hip and then with the knee. And push that knee forward. Hold for about five to ten seconds. And straighten the leg out. You might see that one leg will go further over the toe than the other. Don't worry about that. Some people just have unbalances on each side. My right knee will go over my toe further. But don't worry about it. So again, third one, hold for about five to ten seconds. And pull three. And from there, you're just going to stand up. Turn to the side, now you're going to stretch the right foot, step out, point the toe about 45 degree and take the knee over the toe and get the hips as low as you can with this foot flat on the floor. And stand up for five, four, three, two, and one. And the same on the other side. Point that toe at 45 degree angle, take the knee over the toe for five, four, three, two, and one. And again, back on the right side, five. And again, you might get deeper in one side than the other. Again, don't worry about that. In time, you will get the depth. And the range of motion. Three, four, and five. And change sides. One, two. Make sure you're looking forward. Three, four, and five. So you want to do that three times each side for five reps. One, Two, three, four, and five. And the last side. One, two, three, four, and five. And bring it back. So from there, you're just going to touch the toes. And legs straight, knees straight, okay, touch the toes and just walk out, straight legs the whole way, onto the plank position and push the heels back under the floor and stand up. So you do 10 reps, one, right out, core tight, two,
Three, keep a leg straight the whole time. Four, you feel this pull through the hamstrings and the calves. Keep it going to 10. Keep the legs shooting the way back. Drive the heels under the floor. And one more. And stand up tall. So from there, really going to get these legs warmed up so what you're doing squat holds now so don't worry about your foot position go into your natural stance foot position where you feel comfortable in the squat now you're just going to squat down and hold it big deep breaths nice straight back keep the chest out keep the back engaged and breathe for five four three Two, hand up. So you're just going to do five reps of this for five second holds. Three, two, and again. Hand up. Five second holds for five reps. And back on it. Five, four, three, two, and one. The longer you can stay in that position, the more often you can stay in that position, the better your mobility is going to be in the long term. Back in again. Four and one more. And up. So guys, as I say, the longer you can spend that lower squat position at work, at home, in front of the TV, at home, is going to be a massive impact to your training within the gym. So, down on the floor again, just going to get these hips fired up. So, core tight, back nice and rounded so you don't arch your spine, just round your spine slightly. Tuck your chin on and keep your core compressed. You want to disengage from the lower back, so you're using the glute here. So you're pushing up with the glute, squeezing the glute at the top, and kick right out round and down. Squeeze the glute at the top first and then round. And go for 10 reps. Six. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. And change sides. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And ten. And you're gonna come round onto your back. Push the feet on the floor. Push your full foot on the floor for a warm up. Don't come up in the heels. Don't go up in the toes. Use your full foot. Push on the floor. Drive your shoulder blades onto the floor. Keep your chin tucked in. Squeeze the glutes for ten. Nine. Eight. And squeeze the top. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And you're going to go back in to reverse kicks, okay? Again, core compressed, kick back and round. So 
the reverse kicks and the fire heaters. Ten each side. So you want to make as big a circle you can with your knee. So as you imagine, a big circle with your knee. Push back and then a big circle. And 10. And just so your grip bridge. Again, push feet through the floor. Squeeze the glutes for 10. 9. 8. 7. 6. 5. 4. 3. Two and one and bring it back up. So that's two sets of good bridge and reverse kickbacks to fire hydros. Okay, now you're just gonna go on to your 1990 and foot the knee, okay? So all we want to do is sit on the floor to start off with. Feet out in front of you, bring this foot knee down in front of you, so the hip is the name of the knee, hip is the name of the knee, okay, just sit like this here, and take a chest to the knee, and you'll feel the stretch in the back, if you want to take a bit more advanced than that, you take a chest, literally, keep this knee on the floor the whole time, hold for 5 or 10, to 10 seconds, and then just change legs and again same thing again hold for five to ten seconds and change And change. So you want good hip mobility here. So you feel the hips and glutes really stretching out here. And from here what I want you to do is just take the right leg, keep it on the floor. Take a left leg on the outside of the thigh. So from here if you can't if you can just get your mobility to there, just stay in that position. You'll feel a real good stretch through the hip, lower back. If you can go a bit more advanced, that take your elbow to your ankle. And if you can go more again, take your shoulder to the floor. You'll feel a real good stretch through the hip, lower back. Same on the other side, elbow to the floor. And again, just hold for five to ten seconds. And change sides. <clears throat> so just really straighten out the hips. So we can do this next mobility move, and we can get the squat to get the range of motion through all the exercises. So from there, you're just going to make that look too easy. So from here, if you can get your foot here. You just want to fold that leg on top, that foot on top of the thigh. Just sit in that position now, push down on the thighs. If you can't get into this position, just simply feet together, push down on the thighs. If you can't get into that position, just change legs, hold for 10 to 15 seconds, 30 seconds. <coughs> just hold that position and your coach will take you for your next session. Nice soon. Guys, enjoy your session and I'll see you in the next video.